Hi everybody and Merry Christmas! This is Pam at the Paper Outpost and we are doing this fun little video today just to have some fun, clean up our desk, maybe play with a few more papery ideas and have some fun with you guys in the paper world. Yes, this is the state of my desk at the moment. I know, I know, but it's kind of fun too because I can look through here. Oh, we made these the other day. Let's see if some of these balls still come off. Well, a little bit. I would say give these an extra rub after they're done micro balls and um where are the micro balls container oh here micro beads not micro balls <laughs> micro beads call it what it's what it really is pam don't drop that jar whatever you do okay this is probably the way to do it right back into the jar it removes a step but these are so pretty i really really like these that was just with fabrifix glue and the micro beads so these are cool too. Let me see if there's anything. Yeah, there's a few coming off. But some will stick. Some will be there permanently. I have full faith. Um, if you push down hard enough into the Fabrifix glue, they will stick. Pretty, huh? Yeah, kind of a cool look. So we will put these over here gingerly. Very gingerly. Um, now that we are on the back side, well, we're on Christmas Day. Ho, 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 and all that fun stuff or whatever. Whatever holiday you celebrate, have a nice time. Let's make some stuff. Um, okay. So we still have a few of these left. Let's see. I was thinking I was going to make a cluster, a clutter of clusters. So let's pick one that's like not all super exciting or anything. Um, but might peek through nicely. How about this one? The sketchbook. This might be from Nancy Drew. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. This was pre-Nancy Drew. I think it's going to be maybe a belly band. That might be fun. We haven't made a belly band yet. So let's just, we're going to clutter the bejeebers out of this. Maybe we're going to even microbead it. Boy, that'll be a lot of microbeads. They'll be everywhere. Oh, I could see like millions of microbeads on my desk right now. These things are super small. Yeah, maybe, maybe not my, with microbeads. Um... So I have this little bucket of oh, clusters here. Oh, this is pretty. It's not the right color, though. It's too big. I want to go with small, small. Um, just as like a random idea. I don't, I don't know what will become of it, but I, I just feel like I want to stick a bunch of things down on here. Just random. Maybe I'm going to ink them. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. I just like have it heavily, heavily or ornatified. Is that a word? It is today. Um, these are previous clusters. Some, I bring, most of these I made. I may have been gifted some. Okay, we want some coordinating. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? This I was going to put word journal or something on, but I'm feeling like I want to put it on here and make like a little, okay, I'm dumping that idea. I'm going to make a little pocket on here and then maybe put this here. Now we're talking. Okay, I don't know why, but we're talking now. So this is a piece of Bum, 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 bum. flower sack tea towel that I got from Walmart. It was originally white and I just dyed it a bunch of colors. Um, then I sewed it onto a piece of parchment colored cardstock. I had it. And then now I'm going to glue it uh, in a pocket shape. So we have a pocket on this, which is kind of fun. But this is going to be a belly band. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to make today. So you can make so many different things with this one concept of the piece of cardboard wrapped in a book page. I made a bunch of these a while back. I'm having trouble getting the glue flowing today. Okay, there we go. They're coming out now. Okay. And uh, I got glue coming out. It's like a little tiny thin stream. Okay, look, I'm getting a little more now. A little more. A little more, a little more. All right. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right. There. And we have that there. And now we have this butterfly, which is oh so cute. I know I didn't make that because I would have been all excited if I made that. So I know I didn't make that. So thank you to whoever gave that to me because it's beautiful. Um. I'm going to now glue it. Oh, I'm very excited. I'm going to try and crochet, crochet a flower. Um, someone who has never, never, ever successfully crocheted anything in her life. Okay, not today, but uh, another day. Yeah, some, somebody said, have you ever tried crocheting? I'm like, meh. I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe I should try it. 
Maybe I should try it. Uh, I think with YouTube and having that bird's eye view of what somebody's doing and how they actually do it, as opposed to watching or looking at those books with all the, 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 I'm sorry, but those figures, I do not understand what any of that, those pictures mean. I can't count. I can't see actually where the thread, the yarn is supposed to go. It's like, do you see it? It goes back around and through and under. I'm like, what? What? I don't get it. That That's me. Um, okay. Oh, you look nice there too. You're kind of pretty. That's too much. That one, one area. Now we have to, we have to lean ourselves. Oh, we could do this. That we could do. Well, oh, we're so there. Okay. <clears throat> Brown. That's kind of pretty. Doesn't show that much there though. Maybe we'd have to do it like this. White. Too white. Maybe too white. Not sure. Not sure. <clears throat> So let's go digging a little deeper in here. You never know what you're going to find in the old cluster bucket. There's a tap. Oh, what are you? Oh. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We found something. I'll put you on there. Like you belong there. Yeah, we'll attach you somehow to the butterfly. There. I think we can do that. That will work. What's What are you? Maybe you want to go in here. No, not you. <clears throat> it will be you. The decision has been made. Put it on the other side, Pam. We're going to glue the dark side down. This would be the, the original side of intent, but we are changing intent and going for the white for contrast purposes. This is what is going down today in the paper outpost for no rhyme or reason. Here we go. Tuck yourself in there. Just tuck yourself in. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're in. We have that. <clears throat> now, of course, we're all getting that feeling that this should be inked, right? Again, not because anything has to be inked, because we want to ink. We choose to ink. It is our birthright. Um, wars were fought over this, and we have won the right to ink or not ink as we see fit. And I can't find the ink. Oh, here it is. Here's one brown. Oh, there's the other brown. I'm like, I know I have two browns. Here is the comparison. Vintage oxide, medium brown, vintage oxide. Where where was I born and who, who let me in the door? Vintage photo. <laughs> Walnut stain. Oxide. Regular ink. Pigment and dye. Just pigment. Moves with water. Really good. Moves with water. There was one other difference. Oh, takes longer to dry, but lasts forever. Dries pretty fast, but you have to re reload this with fresh ink every once in a while from a re-anchor. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> the nighttime version of what on earth is the difference between... Look at that big chunk of, of dauber coming off. Yep, that's how it goes around here. You know, you're really working the system. You're getting every last little ounce out of it that you can. All right, here we go. Here we go. Everybody settle down. Things are all right. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be all right. <laughs> I'll just walk it. I'll walk in and talk you through it. We're, on, we're in the midst of Christmas Day. The hoopla is settling down. The bellies are probably full. Who are we kidding? We've been overeating for weeks now. Um, but my theory is if we all overeat at the same time for the same amount, we'll all get fatter uniformly. So there's no reason to compare. It's fine. It's all good. doesn't really matter anyway, except when it does. Oh, this is, this is cute. It's an easy way to make a little cutie envelope. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Okay, maybe it goes this way. I don't know. It's like I inked it that way. Oh, maybe I wanted it to stay open like that. That is so cute. Oh, yeah. We're totally putting that there. And that's even like a little extra pocket. Totally. Totally. That's a fun, like, that's like a little nothing piece of paper that can be turned into an envelope at any time. Isn't it cute? I, I think it's extra cute. I don't know what. There's some, something about it. It just really revs up the cuteness factor. It's like cuterama. I'm going to I'm going to make it even cuter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. There. 
Here, maybe over. Oh, I like it contrasting against the white. All right, let's just have some fun with this little piece. We don't know where we're going or what are we're doing. This could go any which way, any which way, from here to eternity. It could go. There we go. Hmm. All right, let's put something fun in there. Let's find a really cute little stamp or something like that. Okay, I'm over in the stamp bucket. Oh, here's a nice one. It's a Christmas one. That would be perfect. I'm back. That yeah, wasn't long. Just a tiny little Christmas stamp. I'm just going to stick it in there because I think it'll fit nicely. Why do I say these things prematurely? I should not do that. Ugh. Okay, let's get in there. Completely lost sight of all. I can't have lost sight of all of my... Um, well, if you cleaned up your desk, you would know where your bone folder is, Missy. So we don't want to hear any of it. I hear I'll yell at you for me. You don't even have to yell at me anymore. I'll yell at myself. You know, when you live in the land of Slobovia, like you are right now, somewhere in here. Oh, found one. See, I have two. So I figured it wouldn't take me that long to find it. It's very good for opening up little pockets and things like that. This is like a multi-tool. All right, there we go. And we're in. Okay, there we go. That's really good. Okay, so now we have that. We're going to put something in this little pocket. I somehow have this. Taking it to the street. Doobie Brothers. Um, this is a jukebox uh, name, song name thing. Remember that? When you used to sit down in a restaurant and there would be um, that music box. You could punch the numbers like J4. And it would play J4 just for you at your little booth. That was fun. These are also, I think, the same ones for the bigger jukebox. But I definitely remember those for the little one. I think. I think I'm remembering it right. I'm not 100% sure. All right. That's kind of cool, isn't it? You could totally do more on here. What else would you do on here? Should I put some of these on here? They might be kind of cool and random on there. Let's just do one on a sheet. Oh, my gosh. There's like stuff everywhere. Who put this stuff here? Microbeads, buttons. I, I'm telling you people, I'm firing my maid. She's apparently fired herself. She's nowhere to be seen. This is kind of a nice mushroom one. That might look nice on there somewhere. I don't know, kind of doing the mushroom of it all. I don't know if this way. No, can't go sideways. Maybe this way. Up in the corner. Not bad. Okay, maybe. Why not? Say yes to the dress, fam. Just go for it. Okay, putting this boldly without any extra glue, I think it's going to be fine. It's a little bit shiny, and if you want to knock back the shine, you can take your... Oh, it's already out on the desk here somewhere. Can you imagine that? Our old friend, friend Sanding Block, is here somewhere. 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 Echo, echo, echo. Oh, come on. It has to be right here. Because it's not in its own little happy place where I usually leave it. I know I'm going to come and clean the desk up. And I'm going to say it was right here. I couldn't find it the whole time. It was right there. All right. I'm doing a cursory scan. This is absolutely like Where's Waldo. I cannot, I cannot explain. Let me find a, an alternative. Hold on. Oh, you know what? It was right where I left it. Yeah, it was just slid down a little bit. Never let lack of a craft supply stop you. Go back, look in the craft supply drawer. It's probably right where you left it. This is the attempt to remove the shine. Excuse me. Just lightly. You don't want to remove the whole picture. Okay. Test field check. You can also put, see how it gets rid of a lot of the shine. Still a little bit of shine down here, but you can see like the rest of it doesn't. It's still a little shiny, but not as much. Okay, I'm just going to rub it a little more. That's what you do. You get in there and you just rub a dub. See, I'm already removing the words. You can see I'm effectively... It's kind of cool technique. I like that it removes some of the words. Oh, we have to try that. It did remove some of the shine, some of the picture, too. Um, let me try a little more over here. Just see what happens. All right. That's actually very cool. I like the way... It's giving like a 
a velvety suede feel, as well as removing the shine mostly from that picture. So you can totally do that. That's really neat. Okay, now we have to get a regular page and play with that because I am forever distracted by this now. We are going down the rabbit hole of darkness and we don't know where this is leading. Where's the brown dauber? Really? Really? There's the black dauber. There's the red dauber. Oh, I feel like it wants to be right here. Oh, I see you hiding away over there. You thought you could hide from me, but no, 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 no. I have you. <laughs> All right, that's really cool. Okay, so let's just do that. All right, let's get a, book, a page with some thickness. Uh, not that one, not that one, not this one. Oh, let me get in there. Oh, I got a million book pages right here. You think I can get at any of them? No, because there's so much stuff on top of all the book pages. That's just not going to work. Okay, let me see what I got here. What is this? I got a pile of book pages. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's pick up. Those are pretty. Why am I not using these? Because I forgot about them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, these are really thin, though. Where they work? This is foreign language. Very cool, right? Hmm, let's see what else I have in here. There's a page. What about you? You're a little thicker. All right, let's zoom in. Take, I'm taking in close. Okay. You know, I just want to see if this sands. That other one sanded very nicely. This is a little slicker. Slicker. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. It does remove some of the wording. Kind of cool. Oh. Oh, I like it. I don't know why I enjoy removing the words from book pages. But I do. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> it makes it actually look more old worldly and it's already old worldly. But this is more old worldly. Like more, I don't know what, what, what you would call that. But I, I think we're onto something. Wonder what would happen if we went over it with a brown dauber. I don't know, let's just see. Will it pick it up? Make it look like staining? It might. Okay, that areas, those areas are picking it up a little bit more than the regular stuff. So it looks like dirty old paper. Yeah, there you go. That's how to do that for what it's worth. Well, let's see what we can make with this now. Let's just see. See, the regular, it doesn't grab as much more. When I roughed it up, it grabs more. Well, what, what, what does that mean? Sunny, what are you barking at? Let's put some, some stickers on here. And we'll rub the stickers and see what happens. See, now that I put the brown, what happens if I go over it again with the sanding block? Oh, Sonny's so excited about this new technique. He can barely contain himself. Must be a squirrel. Must be a squirrel. All right, let's put some of these on here. Nope. I like the ones with the white background. Say pop. Where was that other mushroom? Hmm. Well, we'll take what we can find. This is a little terrarium jar. We'll take it. It's on a white background. What you doing, Sunny? Oh, I see. There's a, a workman out back. That's okay. Well, that can cause a lot of kerfuffle and, and fuss whatnot. Do, 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 do. Okay, got it. I sometimes give it the three-second rule is there. Okay, so now we're going to come back in with sanding block. Here we go. Want to see closer? There. Okay. Out of the way. Here we go. Hmm? I'm taking off the shine of the sticker. So let me show you the difference. Okay, there's that, and then there's this one. Okay, so that one has lots of shine. You can see that. It's the same kind of sticker, but see how the shine is gone? And I did remove a little bit of the brown around it. So let's see what happens when I do this one. Probably tear the paper. Let's hope not. I'm doing it gingerly. There's a lot of ginger going on. Oh, look at that. This is how you completely remove the sticker itself. That's right. Not only is the gloss gone, but the entire sticker is now faded. See if I can take this one off like that. I'm just curious. It's only paper. We're just playing. This, must have, this one must have super ink on it or something. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to show. Okay, I'm trying to show through. 
I've worn through to the other side. All right. Okay. Ireland. I think this is about Stonehenge. It's kind of cool. So it's kind of an interesting technique if you want to make some paper look old and weathered, even if it is already old and weathered. But uh, make it look more old and more weathered. All right. Very, it's a very, very thin piece of paper. So I think what we're going to do is maybe grab one of these babies. And maybe I'm going to split this in two. I'm just going to fold it like along the diagonal. I totally missed that sticker. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, I missed it. Okay, try down here a little more. Okay, better. Better. Better, better Christmas sweater. Okay. There we go. Tears nicely. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to look cute on there. All right, we might have to nip it at the top. There. All right, let's ink it. We're going in with the big ink. Let's do it. I don't know, we're just making random stuff today. There's no rhyme or reason for anything. This is just having, this is like settling down after the holiday. Well, it's still the holiday, but you know what I mean? Like the, the hoopla is settling down. Let's face it, by Christmas Day, it's pretty much all over. We've, we're, we're having the meal or we had the meal. We've opened the presents. Okay, maybe we're still opening the presents. So my videos come on early, but you know what I mean. The hoopla is settling down. All that getting ready, fuss, 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 fuss. People are starting to relax into it all now a little bit more. It's like, oh, we can breathe for another year. It's okay. We got fun stuff. We go play with our fun stuff we got for Christmas. We'll be back again wanting more fun stuff. Oh, I, just, I dropped. What did I drop? Something important? Yes. Okay. We only go down for the important things. And here it is. My rivets. Or whatever those things are called, reinforcements. Inky dinky doo doo. We have no idea what we're making, but it's fun. And it doesn't matter because it involves paper. And we're crafting together on Christmas. It's kind of fun. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you're going to go there. You're going to pop. You're going to pop. Like nobody's business. All right. So I might glue it like that and have a pocket there. Why not? Why not? I can. I can. It's even though it's a thin paper, but it's reinforced nicely by the piece of cardboard that was wrapped in a book page, which is what I'm using for these little mass making ideas. Just trying to show you different things you can make from one concept and have some fun with your paper. Okay. So there's that. That's good. We like that. Now let's get another one. We have this. And let's get one where they have some contrast. You would be contrast. So we go now here. Yeah, we have to whittle your bottom off. There we go. You have now been whittled. And we will now ink you. There we go. Oh, my, my, uh, my, my dryer is done. You can hear it. It's happily singing its little, I'm dry. The dryer is done song. It's almost like, um, I don't know, a national anthem around here. It's like, the dry is done. Okay. So now we can stick fun things in here. Like, you could actually stick a whole set of these in there. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. I know we need to ink this. It says ink me, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to ink it. And I do have my branch stencil so seductively close right beside me and makes me want to stencil. Come here, your little stencil. There, come on. Let go of the raffia. Let go of the raffia. Okay, I got it. Okay, now I need my paddle brush, which is in the dauber thing. Okay, okay, just grab any dauber. It'll be fine. Okay, this is a blue dauber, which I'm going to now put in the brown. Makes no sense, I know. Oh, well. Get new dampers next year. Okay. Oops. Hold this down. 
Oh boy. Yep. Okay. I went overboard there a little. Okay. That's all right. It's okay. Everything is good. Let's do some on here. Maybe this one will go. Well, we don't know what is upright and right, what is right side up and upside down. It's all good. That's what I'm learning in the paper world. That, and once you get going, you start making stuff. It's like nothing is really a mistake. You just keep going. If you don't like it, you just keep going. And then when you're done, you keep going until you just, you can't do it anymore. And you just say, I'm done. Okay, so we have this one. We need some brown dubberage around here. Complete your little self. This is all good. It's all coming together. We're rocking it. We're rolling it. And it looks really good. I think we're going to bring some black into this one. Yeah, I'm going to make it look a little more mysterious and dark. I like, I like doing the multicolors on pieces. I think it just gives them extra dimension. Right there. I'll put the moon. That's the moon. There. You, can, you knew that was the moon, right? Okay, I knew I knew you did. You guys are sharp. I'm gonna moon over here too. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. See, that's just from the dauber. And just you can sort of just have fun doing goofy stuff like that. Just let's see, like branchy moon esque light. All right, so maybe I'm gonna put these. This I'm just gonna tuck some fun things in here, like those stickers. Oh, and maybe something like this for a little black and white edge. Some fun things somebody can find to play with. And then you, what, what might you be having in yourself here? We need a little more glue. Little the paper's a little thin at this end. Yeah, because we sanded it almost completely away. All right, pick up that butterfly. Maybe I should stick the butterfly here. Yeah, I think so. It's like stickers falling left and right. You have no idea the mayhem that is going on just off camera. This is okay, which butterfly? That's kind of a nice one. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's go for let's go for broke and use the big one. That's very nice. Yep, some more just fell off my lap and onto the floor. I can hear it and feel it. Peel, peel. Okay, doing well. Oh, I'm gonna put it right over the moon. Oh well, that's the way it goes. What? Nope. Okay, I'm right over the moon. It's like there was no moon. Moon gone. All right, maybe we're gonna put the moon up here. I want the moon. <laughs> there we go. Put the moon there. And now we have a moon. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Um, so this one will go like this, and I can glue this whole thing onto the page, or I can glue a U shape, and this can be a pocket, and this is a pocket, or I can do a belly band and glue it up top and bottom. This one, probably, maybe, I don't know, it's upside down, confused myself. Probably a sideways U. Bit. Or just in the upper left corner of a page, like so show you the upper left corner of a page oh, you can't see it. just glue l-shaped glue and then you have a big tuck you can tuck a lot of things i'm talking a lot of things in there and there you go so let's cover this up and let's find snuffer pants who happens to be right here are you ready for your pup date are you ready it's pup date time i know no, but I'm all comfy. I know, but we all must go to work and pay our dues. Hello, sunshine. I mean, this is sunshine. I am a, a canine reporter. Apparently, I have dues to pay. Like everybody else, there are dues. It's, there's no free kibble around here. No, 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 no. We work for our kibble and treats and chicken. And that's what we do. So I shall now begin. Okay, so there were two Amazon guys, three squirrels, and it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm sorry, I almost forgot, but I'm back on track now. I get so confused, I get so excited about my reporting that I forgot it's Christmas Day. Happy holidays to everybody who's celebrating anything, anywhere. Um, it's always a good day to celebrate. We love you very much, and everything is peaceful, and tomorrow we can all go back to, yes, paying our dues. <laughs> yeah, I know we're going to have to pay for all the stuff we bought at, at the holiday time, right? Paying our bills. Yes. <laughs> paying our dues. Okay, very good. We got the point. Um, were you a little spoiled on Christmas? Yes. 
Okay, so it's all good? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, well, we'll talk to you later, Mr. Sunbun. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. I love you very much. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, sunshine out. <laughs> yeah, don't forget your big ending. It's very professional. So there you go, folks. Just some more goofy things that you can make out of these little cards. Um, great way. Oh, you might have some. You might have some packaging after the new, the holidays. I know. I know. It happens. All right. So if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. I have um, my videos, which come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And then any day of the week, you can watch video podcasts on Spotify. And um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles and kits and fundles um, and digikit printables. Um, and all of those, when they are available, the printables are always available. And um, you can, uh, if you don't like printing, you can do a print and mail option. Just order the print and mail option and I will print out for you 10 digikits. That gives you 50 printed pages on nice lightweight cardstock. Um, all I need for you is buy the print and mail option and then send me a list of 10 digikit names either through Etsy message or to Pam at the paper .com. And that's that's that. Um, then I have an Amazon shop. Um, if you like any tools that you see me use here on the paper outpost, I can put links in there. It is an affiliate uh, link. Um, you don't pay more for the items for using my link. So thank you. And um, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon and everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug tote, or water bottle. And what else? Um, most of all, remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. There we go.